Well, it's been just over a week since the AIA DMK Sedapadi Palisami was made Tamil Nadu's new chief minister, but the DMK has ensured that the AIA DMK has absolutely no time to celebrate. MK Stalin has reiterated that Jalalta was convicted in the DA case and demanded that portraits of the former chief minister be removed from all government offices. He's also asked for a renaming of all welfare schemes created by Amma and questioned how the government could use taxpayers' money for a criminal's birthday celebrations. O Panir Selvam has hit back at the DMK saying Jayalalitha was loved by the people for her welfare schemes and that uh, they would be outraged if any attempt was made to remove her portraits from government offices. They are ready to take any measures, even crooked ones, to come to power in Tamil Nadu. They are upset they can't form the government and are trying to create instability. Stalin must apologize immediately for his remarks. As far as Amma is concerned, people still worship her resting place as a temple. Even before the dust could settle between the tussle that occurred on February 18th, AIADMK and DMK fought in the assembly. Right now, one more battle has ensued among them. This time, M.K. Stalin stringently asks for the removal of Jailalta's picture and name from the government projects. His fair question seems to be that, how could a person termed as a convict by the Supreme Court, her picture and her name can be used in government project, and how could the government spend money to celebrate her birthday? Well, on EPS faction and OPS faction that have come together, united, to oppose this statement by Stalin and condemn it, now they say that, Jailalitha is a legacy and to them their Amma was the one who initiated a lot of public welfare schemes and until they are in power, that means for the next four years, they will not remove her name or picture, which definitely contradicts the law of the land. In Chennai, with camera person Daniel, Ramod Madhav, pointed today.